Today's subject is all about one of the most useful things I've ever built in the home foundry, and that is my pouring trolley. Here is an overall view of it. The reason why I built this pouring trolley is because I was suffering from a lot of back pain trying to pour between 7 and 10 miles and carrying that weight for that entire length of time. So now all the weight is carried by the trolley and not by my back. So if you want to build one of these trolleys I'm going to give detailed measurements on how to build it and also for those people who cannot speak English I'll put subtitles of the measurements so you can read them. Now we'll start at the bottom with the wheels. The wheels came off the lawnmower The wheels are 200 millimetres in diameter. The next measurement is the wheel base. It is 480 millimetres. The measurement for the pivot point to the ground is 550 millimetres. The axle length is 370 millimetres and your crossbar here is 430 millimetres these supports are solid bar they're 15 millimetres in diameter the tubing I use for the rest of it is 26 millimetres in diameter In this measurement here for the handlebar is 690 millimetres. Right, the measurement from the handlebar to the pivot point is 1050 millimetres. The pivot point width is 110 millimetres. The measurement from the pivot to the crucible holder to there is 410 millimetres. Measurement from the crucible holder to the ground is 360 millimetres. The last measurement is from the handle to the ground is 900 millimetres. For your pivot you will need two collars with grub screws so you can adjust the pivot point. When I use the pouring trolley I always pour a mould and then move backwards and pour the next mould and the reason for that is if you spill any iron it gets under the wheel it can jam the works up. Now I'll show you what happens when I put a little screw underneath the wheel. See what happens? It jams it up. Here is a valuable tip when pouring with the trolley. Use a moulding box to line up where your sprue is. I'll show you. That's so you actually know where you are. It can be very hard to judge the distance when you are on the handlebars.